guys welcome back to my channel so the first thing I'm gonna be starting off with is my foundation so I have bought this foundation yesterday I purchased this foundation from Mac um I got it in the color NW 50 I used to use NW 50, no this is NW 47 I used to use NC 50 but I kind of like the warmer foundations on my skin. I don't know. I just kind of like that warmer look. I think it's going to be a little too light for me. My skin tone is like really changing right now. Because down in Miami, it's really, really cold. Well, it's not really, really cold. But it's cold and the sun's not out that much. But as you can see, like on the top of my brows, I used the NC50 of 47. So I know off rip that it's going to be too light so i'm going to be mixing my bare minerals bare pro foundation and this is in the shade cappuccino 27 and i think that this foundation is overall too dark for me but with this mixed in with oh i got it on my hair mixed in with the mac i'm pretty sure that i'll get the color that i was actually going for I'm just going to be taking it and swiping it through my face. This one is super reddish and it shows up like beyond red until I finally, yeah, this one is darker. But hopefully both of them combine. I just like the reddish undertone. Like I don't. And also, I usually sometimes moisturize my face, but I have super, super oily skin, and I'm not trying to do that today. I'm going to be spraying my face with the Mario Badescu skincare. It's called the Facial Spray with Aloe, Herbs, and Rose Water. I'm pretty sure you guys have heard about this, so I'll be spraying my face with this. If you guys also are wondering about my wondering, what the fuck? What the heck? If you guys are also wondering about my eyelashes, I am wearing the lashes in the style Chanel. So make sure you check out my website and get you a pair. So now I'm taking my damp beauty blender. And I'm just dabbing it all into my nose and into my face. Underneath my eyes, all that good stuff. Don't forget to get your lower neck. Also, this hair is from March Queen Hair. I have the details on this hair listed down below. Um, I've already done an install video on that. So if you guys didn't see it, be sure to check it out. Check it out. And I'm not going to be wearing too much foundation. I want it to be... I don't want to say light, but not too heavy on my skin. But this should do. Make sure I didn't miss any spots for the freaking little hairs. Mm -hmm. Alright. I'm going to use this part just to get into the inner corner. And in this corner of my eyebrow. Bum, 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 bum. Alright, so now I'm going to be taking my concealer and I like to use Cool Tan in the Pro Long Wear Concealer. That's always been like, it's been my concealer for the longest. I did try MAC Concealer, uh, Kate Von D Concealer, but nothing. And then you know what, these used to be like $1.99 and they up the prices now since they're so popular. Some places sell them for $4, some places sell them for 2 and it's just like cut it out like these were only $1.99 so I'm going to be taking cool tan and I like to just do it like this underneath my eyes I 
think I used too much on this side. <sighs> Fucking hairs and everything. You know, I'm gonna do this a little bit and I'm going to do right here and I'm going to be doing right here. So I do not um I do not color I don't cream contour but I do cream highlight. Alright, so now I'm just going to be taking my spray and I'm going to spray my face so I can get a little luster. Same Mario Blesquio spray. And now I'm going to be taking my beauty blender and I'm just going to be tapping it in and blending out my chin. I'm actually going to take some product from my eyes so I can bring it to my chin. Alright, so I think I'm highlighted in all the areas that I want to be highlighted. And now this is what underneath my eyes look like. And I'm going to now set underneath my eyes. And I'm going to be setting my underneath my eyes with the banana, banana powder. I've been using this powder for like years. I used Benai. That was when it first came out. I think that was the first. That was actually the first baking powder I've ever had. Baking powder. But that was the first face powder I had. And then I had, um. What else did I have after that? I had, um. The next thing I got was Sasha Buttercups. Then I had Airs 1. And then I had, um. I always, always wanted to try the Kat Von D one. So I'm going to eventually try it. And then after that, I had the, I can't remember, oh, the Lord Mercier. And, um, the Lord Mercier is actually pretty good. Minimum flashback if you take your time and, like, dust it off. So, this is what I look like, like a white pound cake. In the meantime of this baking, I'm going to go ahead and put on my foundation powder and set my foundation. I will be setting my foundation with the Bare Minerals foundation, um, foundation powder. And this is the color Hazelnut. As you can see, like, this is my, this is the only face powder I use on my face as of right now. So, that shit is like, it's not even hit and pan, like, it's past hit and pan. But I'm going to be using this. To basically set my foundation. The older I get, the more I'm starting to be like way more photogenic. Like, look at how cute this picture came out. So now, the next thing that I'm going to be doing Sorry, I'm feeling myself. I love baking. Like, I feel like I look so good when I'm baking. If this is how we could walk around with our makeup, I would. Okay, so now the next thing that I'm going to be doing is contour. I'm going to be using my bare, uh, my Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette, Planet, Contour Palette in the color Medium to Dark. And I just take my little angled makeup brush. And I'm just going to work it right here. 
And I do let the powder sit on my face. I also like to bring it into right here. When I do this, I don't double dab it. I just use the residue that's on here. Basically. That all better be shiny. And then I'm going to be doing the top of my forehead. I also just use the residue. I don't want it to be too heavy. And then I kind of bring it in my forehead just to give my forehead that small illusion. And now I'm going to take some more powder. Alright, so now the sides of my face have been cut. I don't contour my nose with the same. Yeah. I don't contour my, I do not contour my face with the same contour palette that I used to contour my nose. I'm going to be using the Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar by Too Faced. And I'm going to be using the color Truffled to line up my nose. This is just a preference of mine, and this part is very, 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 very scary. People be doing their nose way too skinny. And I just want to do mine. Let me go ahead and put this back so That didn't mean to happen. I'm just going to be dusting this off. Now I'm going to show you my blush and my highlighter and that's it. The blush that I'm going to be using is the BH Cosmetics palette and this is the Glamour brush. It comes with 10 different shades. One of them fell out but I'm going to be using I'm going to be using all of oh, oh, no. Okay, let me finish show you the shades. All of these can you focus, please? They're like another one fell out. I don't even use these colors. They all can fall out. It's too like red. I'm going to be using these peachy colors. I'm like gonna lie. I'm in love with blush. Like I don't really like to highlight my face, so I'm going to be just doing my nose and right here and i'm going to be using the anastasia beverly hills glow kit and i like to put snow which is the whitest one on my nose and i put a little tab and then i just follow that no oh no no it's like some white dots but i also take a little bit of Sunray, which is like a golder color. And I just place it on my nose just to give it that extra glow. And then I'm just going to do my final touches and fix my ears. I'll be back in a minute to show you guys the final look. Alright, so now I'm just going to be spraying my face 
and then I'm done. I'm gonna spray my face with, I'm going to be spraying my face down with the MAC Fix Plus. Now, this is the final look, and this is how I highlight and contour my face. Yep. So, um, you guys comment down below and let me know what other videos you guys want to see. If you guys want to see contour, how to apply eyelashes, how to do the eyeliner. Whatever you guys want to see, just comment down below and let me know. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Charlene Forever and Snapchat and Twitter. Everything is Charlene Forever. I have the name written down here. Also, this hair is from March Queen Hair. If you haven't seen the tutorial and seen how I installed this hair, make sure you guys go ahead and go check that video out. All right, guys. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you guys comment down below and give me a big thumbs up.